Hey ladies, uh, okay. So, it has been a while since I've made a video, I know. Ugh. Okay, um, so, um, I think the reason I wasn't like amped up to make videos lately is because my video, or my video, I feel like my diet isn't doing enough for me. Um, I just, I don't feel as motivated anymore. Um, because I don't, I'm not getting the results that I wanted from my diet. Um, <clears throat> so, I am changing my diet. Um, and this is a more intense diet, I guess. Um, like a way bigger change. So, it's gonna be very, very hard for me because I love, like, carbs. I don't know why everything I love is such high is so high in carbs like I love bread um, my favorite dish well one of them I guess is biscuits and gravy oh, so delicious uh, homemade biscuits and gravy my grandma taught me how to make them and I think the reason I love carbs so much is because I was raised loving carbs um, or raised eating tons of carbs like we always, no matter what we're eating, well, not no matter what we're eating, 90% of the time we had slices of bread on the table and then a thing of butter or margarine or whatever sitting next to it. <clears throat> so, and we would just eat buttered bread with dinner, like with tons of stuff. Um, and my family is Italian and uh, Irish. So, I, I think I've said that before. But, um, you know, you get the breads, the pastas, potatoes for Irish. Oh, God, potatoes. Um, and I love all of that. I love eating all that. So, I've been trying to find ways to get around that with my low carb. And with this diet that I'm going on, it is a paleo diet, um, which means you can't eat any processed food. So, um, like, I don't know about brown, brown rice. I, I, let me look this up. Um, <clears throat> I did some research and um, it, it's, it's pretty much, you know, um, no uh, bread, no, like, you're pretty much cutting out carbs. Um, they want you to eat only stuff that cavemen, uh, could eat. <clears throat> um, and that's kind of hard because you're surrounded by all this stuff that is so quick and easy to make. Um, and they also still limit stuff. So you can't say, oh, well, potatoes were around back then. They want you to cut out potatoes. Um, so, you know, you cut out stuff that, it's process that cavemen wouldn't have eaten back then and then also cut out stuff that is like starchy foods and high in fat um, <clears throat> so this is um, a website I will post the link on my Facebook it's ultimate paleo guide um, <clears throat> and this is just a couple of the lists um, I'll just read this off real quick. Um, paleo diet meats. This is, <clears throat> sorry, oh my gosh. <clears throat> this is a list of paleo diet meats allowed on the diet. Um, almost all meats are paleo by definition, of course. And if I'm saying paleo wrong, I'm sorry. I, I just kind of did some research and and found it so no one's ever like said it to me so I don't know if I'm saying it right anyways of course you'll want to stay away from high processed meats and meats that are very high in fat stuff like spam hot dogs and other low quality meats but if it used to moo oink or make some other sound it's almost certainly paleo and yes that means you can still have bacon although don't do anything too crazy with it uh, here's the full list below, <clears throat> and it's actually a pretty long list. I don't know if you can see it, but um, 
uh, poultry, turkey, which turkey is poultry, so I don't know. Um, chicken breast, pork tenderloin, pork chops, steak, veal, bacon, pork, ground beef, um, grass-fed beef, chicken thigh, chicken leg, chicken wings, uh, lamb rack, shrimp, lobster, clams, salmon, venison steak, um, buffalo, New York steak, bison, bison steak, they're just listing off all the parts of bison, um, lamb chops, I think that was said already, uh, rabbit, goat, elk, emu, okay, this list is getting ridiculous, emu, um, goose, kangaroo, okay, <laughs> bear, wild boar, reindeer, turtle, ostrich, Okay, I think they're just messing. Rattlesnake. <clears throat> Rattlesnake. Okay, this is getting real ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> I'm just going to skip those. Um, but anything. So, um, beef, pork, chicken, you know, any type of poultry, um, you can have. So, um, if it's beef, uh, it doesn't say it, I guess. <clears throat> but um, I would say more towards lean beef because, um, you know, that'll cut out a lot of fat. So that'll help. Um, then a list of fish. Bass, salmon, halibut, mackerel, mackerel, sure. Sardines, tuna, red snapper, shark, sunfish, swordfish, tilapia, trout, and walleye. Um Seafood, I feel like they listed all of this anyways, um, but I'll just read it off again. Crab, crawfish, crayfish, um, shrimp, clams, lobster, scallops, and oysters. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, and then they give a list of, like a really long list of vegetables, which... I'm sure you guys know, you know, what you can and can't have. Uh, they don't have corn on here, so I would probably stay away from corn. I didn't see green beans either, um, but I did see asparagus. So I would probably say no green beans and no corn. I don't know. I love green beans, though. But um, I can easily replace those with, like, snap peas. Um, and then it has a little asterisk by a couple of them, which I'm assuming means, like in small quantities so um butternut squash acorn squash yam sweet potato and beets and i'm assuming it means you can have those but i would like limit them they also have a list of oils uh coconut oil olive oil macadamia oil avocado oil grass-fed butter okay um but yeah just I'm, I, yeah, I'm just reading off lists at this point. Um, so I'm excited about this diet. Um, I feel like I've gotten a little motivation back. And um, the other diet was working for me. It just wasn't working fast enough. I feel like I wasn't where I wanted to be. Um, and that might be, you know, I, I wouldn't cut out. I wouldn't uh, knock it till I try it first. Till, don't knock it till you try it, um, if I were you. Because um, I, I feel like I have, it's not a severe case of PCOS, um, but it is more of an intense case than most people have. And it's, you know, I haven't, I didn't have a period for a year and a half. Um, and I only had it for like a month or two. Um, and then... I didn't, I hadn't had it for like a year before that. So, um, I would try with low carb first, um, because this is more of an intense change. Um, and I don't think I'm going to stick with this change forever. I'm eventually going to go back to low carb, but I really want to get back to where my body should be and then go to low carb. Um, I just kind of want to expedite the process. So, um, I would try low carb first if I were you. And then if you aren't 
getting the changes that you wanted, then I would definitely check into the paleo diet. Um, if you guys have been on low carb and it hasn't been working for you um, as much as you wanted, then I would definitely look into paleo diet. Um, but yeah, it is, like I said several times, um, an intense change. Uh, you're cutting out, you know, rice. I don't know if you can have rice, brown rice with it. Um, my grand, my, I call him Pops. Um, he's my grandpa. Uh, Pops, um, and my grandma make, well not make, but they harvest wild rice from Minnesota. Uh, wild brown rice, it's river and lake rice. Um, so I'm going to look into that and see if I can have it with my diet. Uh, and they sent some home with me, so I'm I'm actually interested to see how it how it works. And then I also, my friend Leslie, um, she uh, found, well I, I think it was actually her dad's girlfriend found um, brown rice noodles. So I would definitely look into those too. And I'm going to try um, one of these days, once I get around to it, um, cauliflower pizza crust. Um, so that's, you know, no carb. As long as I don't have to add flour. I don't know. I don't remember the recipe. Ugh. Okay. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so I would look into that um, if you guys feel like that is a change that you need to make. Um, but yeah, like I said, just try low carb first if you haven't tried anything yet. Um, I definitely was getting results with low carb, um, but I just wanted more results. I feel like my, since I hadn't had a period for a year and a half, that my body is too far gone to, well not my body's too far gone, I don't know how to, how to word it. I feel like my body has reached the point where I need a bigger change in order to get the results I want because it has spent so much time in this, you know, I don't know what, I don't know, I can't think of words today, Ugh, I can't do the word thing, it's not happening, um, <clears throat> but I am optimistic um, since I was getting results on this diet, on the low carb diet, I am very, very optimistic of how I'm going to, you know, the results I'm going to get on the paleo diet. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about that. And yeah. Ooh, little me. I was, I was a redhead and I'm all trying to be like angel like, which is kind of funny, but, uh, that's little me. But yeah, so, um, before all of my worries. Okay, but I am, um, I'm excited, like I said, and I can't wait to report back, and I'm sorry that my videos have been so few and far between. Um, I've been so busy lately, though. Um, I had a house full the other night. I had my aunt and uncle, my three cousins, my two nephews, and then my two dearest friends over. Um, so, yeah, it was a full house. And then me and Chris, obviously. So that's like 11 people or something. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but I hope you guys have been doing great. Um, I really hope to hear from you. And if any of you have tried the paleo diet before with your PCOS, please let me know um, how it worked and, you know, recipe ideas and everything. Uh, comment below or add me on Facebook, um, PCOS with Destiny, and there's spaces in between. Um, I'll, that's There's a link on my page, on my channel. Um, <clears throat> and go follow me and, or like my page, whatever it's called. Because um, I do post more stuff on there than I do on the YouTube channel because it's a lot easier to just make a quick post. Um, and I think of you guys often and you guys have been so supportive. Um, so yeah, I hoped this video finds you well and yeah, I hope it, it gives you some inspiration. So have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.